Hey everyone, today we're going to learn all about non-proportional relationships with gaming. Okay, so this first example, the base game is $40, but then there's different DLCs or downloadable content that we could try out that would add a lot of features and just make it more fun. So let's start figuring out a good equation for if I get that base game at $40 and then I get three DLCs for $4.99 each. I want you to see if you can write that as an equation. Okay, so some of you are probably thinking that we need to do three times that $4.99 so that can be the first part of the equation. And then we need to add the $40 that the base game price was. And you're going to notice with non-proportional relationships that we are going to see them in the form of y equals mx plus b. And that just means that we're going to have a multiplication problem first so that mx, there's a coefficient that multiplies by x, and then we're going to add some amount. And I'll show you a lot more about that type of equation as it also relates to graphs. Okay, now we're going to try to take the same scenario, but we're going to see what it would cost if I got a different amount of DLCs. So you know, we don't have to just stick with three. Let's figure out this table. So what if I uh, get one DLC or two? So I want you to try to make an equation that goes with that amount and then find out that final price uh, that it's going to cost me. Okay, so hopefully you're writing it in the same form. So mx plus b, you can see my, I have one times 499 plus 40, and then I have two times 499 plus 40. And then of course the original problem, three times 499 plus 40. And then you can check your answers with mine, see if you got the same total price. Okay, great job. Now you can move down to find more DLCs. So let's do, let's co just continue this table till we get to 10. And you can pause the video and we'll come back and check your work. All right, here's my equations and here's my total prices. Great job. Okay, so now I think we're ready to make a connection between uh, those equations that we just built and solved and graphs. So take a look at that first equation. So we know that 499 times 1 plus the 40 is $44.99. So that answer is our y coordinate. So we're going to put a point on the graph. So here is one DLC and the cost is $44.99. So that's where our point goes on this graph. Then we can do each of the amounts that you found. So two DLCs, how much did that cost? Yeah really close to 50, right? So 49.98. Okay, three DLCs were 54.97. Okay, four DLCs were 59. 96. Okay, and we can just keep going based on the equations that we built.
Okay, let's see. Eight was $79.92. Okay, nine was $84.91. And then 10 DLCs was $89.90. Okay, and you're gonna notice a straight line forming here. And let me ask you this, what if we bought the base game and had zero DLCs? How do you think, where, where do you think I would graph that? So base game, but zero DLCs. Yeah, so you're probably thinking, well, if I had 4.99 times zero, plus 40, well that equals zero. And then it would just be the base game. So $40. So where would that go on the graph? Okay, some of you are probably thinking, well, if there's a zero, you know, in a ordered pair, if there's a zero, then we don't get to move on the x-axis at all. And we just move up to the 40, which that lines up with the rest of the dots. So this makes, you know, this graph is not perfect because I'm just kind of drawing it and I'm not super accurate, but you can tell that it is making a linear pattern here. Okay, great job. I hope this video helps you in your math class or at home. See you next time.